All right, welcome back everybody. I've got another chicken breed video for you and today we're talking about the Brahma chicken. Not many breeds of chicken have a more mysterious origin story as the Brahma. It is said to have originated on the banks of the Brahmaputra River in Assam, India before the 1850s. However, next to nothing was recorded in the region on the early development of the breed. The earliest known versions caught the eyes of traders who brought them to America and England. The new bird went by several different names including but not limited to the Grey Chittagong, the Grey Shanghai, and the Cochin China. While historians and enthusiasts disagree on whether it was developed officially in India or America, it seems that they do agree that the two main breeds used in the development of the Brahma were the Malay and the Cochin. As the breed was being perfected in America, a prominent breeder by the name of George Burnham sent some of his very best stock to Queen Victoria in England. From here, the Brahmaputra exploded in popularity. As more writing was published on the breed, the name was shortened to Brahma by the publisher of the Northern Farmer, T.B. Minor. His reasoning was simple and logical, to save space on the page. The color of Burnham's Brahmas was of the light variety. But in England, breeders were able to create the dark variety. However, it proved difficult, so the breeders focused more on color than they did size. This meant that the dark Brahmas that were sent back to America were significantly lighter in weight and smaller in stature than the light variety. Due to the size of the light variety, the light Brahma became very popular as a meat producer. As many breeders started growing them for their meat, they did not focus on appearance. Therefore, only the finest bred light Brahmas exhibited the markings desirable for a light Brahma. If you want to read more about how the light Brahma has changed in appearance over the decades, be sure to check out the description below where you can find a lengthy article on heritagepoultry.org. Formally recognized color, color varieties are light, dark, and buff. Other varieties that you may find that are not formally recognized are blue, blue Colombian, black, gold, and white. The Brahma is one of the largest breeds of chicken today. A fully grown male can weigh up to 11 pounds, while the female can weigh up to 9 pounds. They have a wide, deep body with powerful wings. They should have somewhat of a V shape where their tail meets their back. They have large, strong legs and feet with feathers going all the way down the middle, the middle toe. They stand upright and are tall. The plumage of the Brahma chicken should be held more tightly to the body. They have a pea comb and they can adapt themselves with almost any climate. Though due to their size and heavy feathering, they may prefer cooler climates. They are winter hardy birds and lay large light brown color eggs and will continue to lay through the winter. Brahmas have a large head with a slightly overhanging brow which gives the bird a somewhat mean aggressive look. They also have a short but powerful beak. Due to the size of the Brahma, it was a very popular meat chicken only from the mid 1800s to about the 1930s. 
The development of newer meat breeds caused the popularity of the Brahma to pitfall. Fortunately, the breed has come back into popularity. Some raisers say that Brahmas can be harvested from 9 weeks to about 12 weeks of age, while others will tell you that 16 weeks is more appropriate. A fully grown Brahma of either gender can feed a family of four. The Brahma is not the most prolific egg layer, however they are more dependable in the winter than other breeds. They lay large light brown eggs at a rate of about three to four a week on average. They make good mothers, but due to their size, they can run the risk of cracking eggs and trample, trampling chicks. The hens may go broody occasionally, though they are not particularly known for doing so. The Brahma is an excellent choice for you if you are new to raising chickens. They are calm, moderately friendly, and reliable. Their voices are softer than other breeds, so their crows and alert calls should not disturb you or your neighbors too much. Due to their weight, they don't fly very well, so containing them should be easy. They do need more space than other breeds because they are so large. Their size is useful in that predators are less likely to target them compared with other smaller breeds. Except, of course, for the Bantam variety, which is also recognized by the American Poultry Association. They are generally not aggressive with people, but some owners say that they may show aggression towards other breeds over food. And of course, they will need more food compared to other breeds. I've had Brahmas in the past. I started with eight in 2017. However, over the years, I've lost six of them. So I'm, I'm down to two Brahmas remaining. They're both roosters and they are of the buff variety and they're some of my friendlier roosters. They're actually my friendliest roosters and the calmest and I actually would not mind raising more Brahmas. Now if you have the space, I would absolutely suggest raising this breed. They're easy to manage, again they're somewhat, they're decently friendly, and they're, they're just all around decent animals. So if you want to give this bird a go, go for it. That'll be it for today, I hope you learned something. Uh, if I left anything out about this breed, please let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next video.